Hello and welcome back to the Leviathan Cove with more vampire survivors. Alright, so I've sat down and thought about it for a little while uh, from our last episode. We need to do something different and I feel like maybe I'm just getting maybe a little bit burnt out on what we're doing. So with the next amount of money, we're going to go and unlock Gennaro Belpes. Belpes? Um... But to do so, we're going to go with Antonio, because I think he's our strongest character. And we're going to go somewhere completely different, and we'll go to the dairy plant. Uh, the reasons for this is, this is the most different one that we've done. We haven't explored it much, and there's also a relic to collect. So if we can find that relic, um, maybe that will give us a bonus of something. What? I do not know. But I'm willing to take pretty much anything at this point. Um. Alright, so what have we got here? Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go with the King Barbel. Yeah. Alright, so I'm not actually sure if we've uh, visited this stage again since we picked up the star map. Um, so, that's, uh, that's a bit of a difference. Uh, you know what, let's go with the sand of water. Um, so, on that note, okay, so we've got a few attract orbs flying around. Speed, and then candelabra armor, and down the very bottom is that relic. Hmm. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, nine. That's a that's a long way to travel. Um, you know what? Let's just uh, hang around here for a little. See if we can get this whip leveled up to level two, uh, and then see if we can find. Some of the other goodies on the map. I don't like these uh, these fish people. They're not particularly nice. Uh, you know what? Yeah, there we go. Whip level two. So I'm gonna try and focus in on. Yeah, don't like that at all. Okay. Now we saw these up. Okay, so they can run over enemies. I believe we heard that at one point. Uh, well, so far, I can say that this is a nice change from the Jolly Forest. Uh, we never really ended up collecting on what we're... Um, I've lost my train of thought. Alright, sorry about that. Pause. Um, Alright, so here we go. Keep on working our way through. Okay, so this time we actually are a little bit stronger than the last time we tried this, and we can actually take that out. Let's go with the Bible. The more projectiles, the better. I think it provides for a better defense and offense, given that we can work through the uh, verticality of everything. Alright, so let's just see. We need us somewhere near the middle if we're going to collect some of these. Yeah, these, uh, these fellas are definitely not to be trifled with. Alright, what else can we pick up? Um, should we go with some... Uh, if we go with the garlic, that could be useful. Um, sand of water's nice. So it's underground. You know what, maybe we go with the, uh, underground. Destroy everything that's on the map. And if we find the crown, that should pair rather nicely. And then it'll also bring all the future experience to us, so I feel like that's kind of a win-win. Whereabouts are we? Alright, so we're just above. Alright, there's one of those attract orbs. Let's just pull these two guys to the left. Work our way. There we go, pick it up. Yeah, there we are. Alright, um... 
let's go with the lightning ring because if we pick up the duplicator that'll go well with the sand water as well as the bible hmm. you know what let's uh let's go for the pentagram uh, the earlier we take that the more likely I think oh don't like the jellyfish right, let's just see if we can squeeze through right, that wasn't too bad not great but um oh dear let's try and take out that rat man I don't feel like we're very strong here feel like we need to maybe do some more upgrades or maybe some other characters are better here yeah we'll absolutely take that whip upgrade yeah there we go a little bit of speed here would be nice oh let's try and squeeze through there come on uh, yep let's take the whip keep working on taking out the baddies Oh, I feel like this could be it. Okay, oh no. We can pick up something good. As long as we can get up to about, what was it, another 300 gold or so? Um, that'll afford us another character. So, uh, I'd be very appreciative if we could make that work. Okay, I don't like these floating things. Um... Yeah, let's just go with the sand water. Keep working on the damage. Can we get any chickens? Oh, yes we can. Thank goodness. Okay. Oh, let's just see if we can get an extra chicken there. Oh. Long. Oh. Alright, so let's just keep on working our way down. Uh, what else do we need? Now we're actually pretty close to this other relic. Um, maybe we try and make that our goal. Yeah, come over to the left here and pick up this orb. Where is it? Yeah, just directly to our left. Um, where are you? Okay, still a little bit further. Hopefully that should give us a level because we're still rather weak at this moment in time. Which is unfortunate. I do with what we've got. Okay. 25% uh, chance not to erase items. That sounds like a wonderful idea. More Bible damage. Yes, please. You know, if we can get him. Let's just try and use our Bibles to take out that rat man. Yeah. I'm not too confident. Uh oh. Um. Okay, so I take it there's traps. That's not nice. Alright, we're almost down to the relic. This is a good sign. We can uh, hopefully at least make something worthwhile come of this run, even in the short five minutes that we've been. Gotta work on that rat man. Yeah, he's. Oh, there we go. There we go. Absolutely gotta take that. Here we go. a whip that'll be useful and another solid chunk of gold oh and there it is um now let's go with the pentagram again yeah the sooner we can uh make good with that the best we can't afford it to take out too much of our experience points so Hopefully we'll be able to use that to its fullest. And we've got to go to this side. Oh, and a chicken. Thank you very much. Yeah, they're not... They don't seem to be uh, dying too quickly. And it's on the wrong side. Okay. Here we go. 
come down here. What have we got? Alright. Oh, he's just in the center. Ooh, he's being surrounded by guardians. What's this? Ars Guda permanently allows access to the list of defeated enemies from the main menu. Well. Look, that isn't exactly what I was after. I was hoping for something far cooler. And maybe far more useful in the here and now, but... At least we now know that we have thick. All right. Oh, those, those big dudes are rather tanky. They do drop some good health though. Okay. Uh, where can we go from here? Right, let's go up into the ride and try and take out this candle arbor. Oh, this candle. Oh, big fishman. I do not like the new fishman. Uh, -uh. I am. Not a fan at all. Alright, try and pick them up as we go along. Actually, there was a, uh, there was a, yeah, question mark. You know what? Let's see if we can get to the question mark. I think the question mark is a far better objective for this run than just a stand pick up because if we're trying to live a very long time, I guess it would be worth it. But, uh, oh, oh dear, that does not look good. Uh, but I think we can resign ourselves to the fact that we will not be living for a very long time in this level, so let's just work our way towards something that, you know, will give us a bit more information on what we're dealing with on this mission, either when we return, or when, uh, we actually, uh, or if we could actually get something that's really useful. Gems. Yeah, level 14 at this point is really sad. Oh, thank you very much, Pentagram. Where are we? Okay, so we're just a little bit south. Uh, let's just go straight north. Oh dear, I do not like that. That is so very nasty. So there's like these horned little devils. Uh, a little bit further north. Alright, come on. Please let our passive regeneration come into play here. Okay. Just gotta work our way. Oh. Close. So close. But yet yeah, no cigar. Alright, do we have enough? Yes, we do. We have enough to unlock a new character. Oh, and it actually shows who uh, has completed which missions. Alright. Um, let's go with Gennaro, Gennaro, and, uh, yeah, let's start with that, and then, now just for a quick play, let's go through the inlaid library and turn on this hyper mode, it's got more luck and more gold, maybe we make something worthwhile, oh my goodness, okay, so this is a little bit quicker, um, Okay, so the aim is we gotta so we're gonna really have to kite. Uh, please give us another weapon. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the uh, Bible. <laughs> That's something that doesn't require me to be in permanent facing towards uh, the enemy. Would be really good. Oh, yes, please take that gem. Take that. And uh, what else can we take? No, let's go with the magic wand as well. Uh, we need something with a little bit of directionality that's actually practical. So if we just circles around these fools. And you know what? Stuff it. Let's go for it. Garlic. Garlic has always been a solid choice for us. So let's just... Yeah, we can just keep on doing these flanking maneuvers, running past them, spinning through. Um, now let's go with more Bible. Oh, some extra luck early on. That seems like a uh, nice addition. All right, let's just squeeze through that up there. Ooh. 
You know what? If we can, let's try and get the Laurel as well. Um, the garlic Laurel combination could be an awfully potent one. If we can make it work. Wow. I will admit this feels so, so different being moving this quick. Um, yeah, let's go with the sand water. We probably want the attract orb anyway, so. Use these bubbles to our advantage. There we are. Through a bit more, thank you. Alright, we're just running back and forth, back and forth. Uh, no, let's just go with weapon cooldown. I don't really need the sand of water, but uh, that at least gets us towards the possibility of an evolution. Uh, let's just take what we can get. Also too, maybe it's just me and uh, I haven't quite figured out the other maps yet, but this one does feel so much nicer um, than the others. Maybe it's because I don't have to worry so much about traveling too far here and there. It's just straight up and down and we can uh, get into some predictable routes. Um, so, oh, more luck again. Okay. I didn't realize that much. Um, no, let's just go with the cooldown. Get those bibles back up and running. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do there. So instead of uh, trying to do anything, I don't think we actually have an objective that we really need to do. Yeah. Let's just try and survive, live a decent amount of time, make a good amount of gold, see if we can get some really good uh, upgrades. So uh, since we have the term, let's work on the work on the magic one. We want that. That'd be good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Can we work through the early level mummy? Come on, give us a. what we want to see. You know what? Let's go with the garlic again. Um, if that's enough, yeah, we can almost take out all of these smaller mummies with no real regard to where we're actually running. So, uh, Laurel, yes please. The Laurel-Garlic combination is going to be wonderful. Sand of water. I could be wrong, but I already feel like we're far more powerful with this character. Although maybe it's the um Maybe it is the uh what shall I call it? Um character. That could also be it. I know that he said that he had more projectile more projectiles coming out, so maybe that's a big difference as far as health is concerned, like being able to, um, like enemy health, just being able to work through it that much quicker, because we have more weapons, uh, so much earlier on, or more projectiles, I should say. Um, you know what, we may as well take these. Hmm. No, let's just go with the magic wand. I think if we can get one thing leveled up, that would be a very solid boon to our run here. Let's try up and around. Alright, accidentally picked up a chicken that we didn't need. That's fine. Uh, the armor. What does the armor pair with? I don't know. Let's just quickly go with the time and double check. The armor pairs with... Interest. Okay, that's a good thing we didn't take that then, since we will be so limited in what we can actually uh, evolve. Hmm. 
Oh, there's an attractor. No, let's just take it. And, uh, go for the knife. No, maybe this is the run which we can actually evolve the, the knife. That would be really good if we could do that. Yeah, let's just go for that again. in circles keep everything hurting yeah let's just take another knife what have we got here alright the bible that works well yeah we're just chewing through these clowns of course, they're going to start spawning some tanky units, so we should probably work on some of our individual weapon DPS, but you know, until then, I... Mm. you know what, I might actually, uh, yeah, no, we'll take the, we'll take the knife. I was tossing up there for a second whether we should actually take the duplicator. I know we don't have the lightning ring, but I don't know what pairs with the coral, and I'm fairly certain they don't tell us. Uh, yeah. So, we have, I don't think that that can be evolved. Yeah, no. So, uh, we'll just happily take the duplicator at some point in the future. So we get into the kamikaze once again. You know what, let's just work our way over towards the, um, towards the mask. Now as much as that we don't actually need it, and we won't actually pick it up straight away, uh, since the only thing on the map is the tome and we're already upgrading that, I feel like it's not worth pursuing on the map. We might as well just take it up through normal leveling means. So let's just uh let's just keep on working on what we've got. And then if we can get the extra gold, that'll be extra gold. Ooh. Uh hmm. So we don't need the spinach. The crown could be useful. You know what? Let's take the Let's take the crown. I feel pretty good with the knife being at where it's at. Um, since we know that the crown won't always be available to us, we may as well take it while we can. So we know that we need the spellbinder and... Uh, what is it? Spellbinder and the attractor. And the bracer. Okay, so that's three. Alright, so we're still making our way through these guys fairly strongly, so that's a good sign. Let's just... Okay, and there is the mask, so let's just stay here. Oh, yeah, might as well collect that. Collect everything that was left behind already. Uh, what do we do? As we'll go with the... Well, we've got all the weapons that we're going to get. So let's just go with the knife. Um, and see if we can get this evolution for that. We should have enough time to pick up a few extra uh, bits and pieces. Alright, and there it is. So let's go with the knife. Now we're just waiting on a bracer and a chest for us to be able to get our coveted knife evolution. Hmm, okay, so bubble crap. 
Let's go with the crown. We're going to be sitting here for a while, so let's just make the most of what we've got. I will admit, this is so much easier to play on hyper mode. Um, it is definitely far more hectic, but at the same time, too, I feel like, I don't know, we're making more progress than we would otherwise. Maybe it's just because I'm running faster. All right, cool. Check the Bible, thank you. And, uh, yeah, let's take the attractor orb since we're just filling in the spots now kind of thing. Yeah. And if we can f patch what we're looking for early, we don't have to worry about having that spot taken up by something that we're not after. Hmm. So what else do we need? We need... Oh, we need the attractor robe. You know what? Uh, oh yes, we need the binder and the bracer. Binder and bracer. So let's just take what we've already got. So let's go with the laurel. Do some health preservation. Yeah. And more Bible, more protection. There we are. You know what? Let's just take this crown as well. doing all right on damage at the moment, which is a nice change from previous runs. Um, hmm. You know what? We should probably take the uh, magic wand. If we can get that to full health, ah, sorry, to full level, we'll be able to get that evolution because we already have its counterpart. So. And then... Now we're just going to open the Bible again. We just don't want to just take anything that would take up a spot that's something that we really want to get our hands on. So let's go with the crown again. As we're just really making our way through these guys. Um, yeah, there we are. So that's the crown maxed out. Bible. Now it's on to the pack of the broccoli. Let's just work our way to the left for a little, work our way back down, back to the right. Alright, and we'll take the Bible again, I guess. Um, really would like that bracer if we can find it. And you know what, it might actually, yeah, we'll definitely take the bracer over the, um, over the, um, over the spellbinder if we can do it. Simply because we will get some extra gold for having evolved a new weapon for the first time. And if that gives us some more unlocks, whether it's a character or equipment, I think that would be a very positive idea. Have we got what it takes to evolve? Um, yes, we do. All right, let's take this box. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, here we go. 260. That's a good amount of gold in our coffers. Yeah. All right, so what do we need? Uh, yep, magic wand. We will take that. And now all that we need now is some more chests, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so we are taking a little bit of damage. That's not great. Could be worse. Uh, let's go with the cooldown. Let's make sure that everything is up as much as possible.
Yeah, it would be really good if we could find a way to farm out some more gold. Yep, and there's the magic wand too. That's great. This is really, really good. Um, being able to have two evolved weapons this quickly is good. Uh, yeah, let's go with the garlic. Um, you know we want the other things, but again, a ton of garlic is just going to be fantastic for us. And if we can find what it pairs with. Um, so what do we know about garlic? Garlic's normally pretty good for immune system and things like that. That's the only thing I can think of, or staving away. I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out as we go. Um, I haven't seen anything that we could uh, stick with for our, uh, oh, tons of gold time. Okay, here we go. Yeah, now let's take the fire breathing as well. Let's see if we can get the absolute most out of this that we can. Here we go. Oh yeah, and that. All right, so we toasted that guy. Got a little bit of gold. That's not bad. Sixteen hundred is a reasonable amount to run. Although we're now beginning to slow on our leveling, which is a little bit sad. But you know, we can no longer go with what we've got. Oh, found another. And we've got a couple of chickens there too, which is good to know. Um, so let's just keep those chickens flying around somewhere. How on earth are... Uh, I don't even know what causes these things, but I'll, I like it. Alright, let's go with more. Keep those books permanently spinning around. Uh, I think he might have a chest. Seems like a, a kind. Those. Still got, all right, let's just quickly check the mini map. Is there anything extra? No, just the mask and the chickens. Spellbinder, fantastic. We'll take that. And we're only 13 minutes into this run. So, 13 minutes at level 42. Yeah. Now, I think this character might be... Uh, Staying around for a while. Oh, yes, please. And the brace are fantastic. Could not have asked for anything more. Now all that we need is a chest. And we will be sitting pretty. Um, hmm. What do we do? Effects last longer. All base speed up by 10%. Or, you know what? Let's just go with that. Plus for everything spinning and taking on, more likely we are to be doing good amounts of damage. Oh, okay. Duplicator. Alright, hang on. Got the attractor orb. That's what we need. We've got the spellbinder book. That's what we need. Now what? Yep, let's go for it. Let's take this duplicator and start becoming super crazy. Pick up this stone mask for the extra gold earnings, and then let's just see how long we can survive for now, and how much money we can make. Okay, you know what? Let's just take this duplicator, an extra projectile from everything. It just feels ridiculous. And judging by the way we're just mincing through them all, I think we're absolutely right. Uh, yeah, let's go with the stone mask, just if we do pick up any gold. And some more garlic. Now, we're going to have to find a guy at some point who's got a chest, which would be really, really useful. Uh, yep, just max out that garlic. Just make sure that our little area is as toxic as possible. Oh, and there's a chest. I didn't even see that. There was a guy there who could uh, drop one of those. Alright, please be a good evolution. Alright, so it's the knives, I'm assuming. And a good 300. Pies with no delay. Sweet. And uh, just go with the mask again. Until we start taking damage, I feel like we should just focus on being able to make as much from our learnings. 
from this run as possible. Uh, we really do need as much as we can get. Uh, yeah. Now what? Maybe we should keep going for the sand of water now. Uh, where we're hanging out, the gems aren't going anywhere. So that'll still be ours. Uh, but we can get an evolution if we just focus down. Oh my goodness. Hi, Medusa. Alright, so we can take a little bit of damage. But... That's at neglect for the rest of the map, so that's... I can live with this. Oh yes, and now we've got the Bible as well. Alright, we're sitting very pretty. We're sitting very pretty. I feel like we might actually... Make a good amount of progress. Yeah. There we go. And what else do we want? Stone mask again. Yeah. Now that we've got that maxed out, we should just be sitting on. Um... Ah, okay. Uh, base speed. Yeah. Accuracy via volume. And uh... effect. I'm not really too worried about the picking up of uh, gems at the moment. We're just melting through the enemies like they're absolutely nothing. And we're kind of just sitting in the same area. So I think we'll just focus on this sand water and make the most of this. Yeah. Again. Oh. What have we got here? Ah, oh, fair enough. I'm not really too bothered. Put a bit of pickup range on her. There's the sand of water. You know what, there's some like, gold down there and some chicken and things. Let's just take it all. Yeah. Just really make sure that we're collecting all the gold that we can. Get everything from everyone. Alright, cool. There's the sand of water. Now we're just waiting on a chest and we can get the level up. Oh, bed gem. Uh-uh. Right, sir. Just mincing through these guys. Um, yeah, go with the Laurel again. Yeah, we don't actually have. Yeah, it's only these final three, so we might as well just stick with the Laurel. Make sure that we're not accidentally taking damage. Uh, or if we are, as little as humanly possible. Let's just do some circuits into this, uh, little, this little section here with the piano. Force everybody into where our Santa water is. Now, sadly, there isn't anyone dropping a chest, which is sort of a disappointment, but... You know, can only do with what we've been given. Although I am mildly concerned we're at 17 minutes and if we're about to hit 20, which, you know, realistically I can't, I can see us, uh, living that long. I really would like to have all of our potential upgrades made before that point. Um, yep, there's one of those big witchy ladies. Let's just try and kill her. Make 
making sure we're picking up those big bags of gold. Yeah, three and a half grand. That is a solid amount of cash. Alright. There it is, the sand water. Now, as much fun as this game is, I was beginning to get a little bit tired of uh, not being able to actually have many productive runs. But after something like this, it really does change uh, how everything's feeling. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure we're going to survive the full 30 minutes with this guy. Just given that we don't have any health regeneration and we don't really have um, any way of stealing others' health. So, like, I feel like we've got a pretty good defensive uh, setup, given the Bibles and this hailstorm of bullets or daggers. And then obviously the garlic and the water. So if we can sit within the water, we should probably be able to just, you know, persevere through a fair bit. Um, yeah, let's go with Spellbinder again. Nothing else on the map has dropped. Not that I can see. Yep, still nothing. Since we're not really going anywhere, we'll just kind of cruise here for a bit. Just keep on working with the, uh, with the attractor orb, and then take as many chickens as possible, so we can, uh, we might set, if we can get to it, the point where they ask if we can take anything, anything but chickens, or, um, anything chickens, or the, uh, gold bags. I think we're just going to take the chickens so we can kill more enemies and hopefully spawn something super powerful. Oh, there we go. That's what we want. Probably a bag of gold, maybe? Yep. Alright. And a thousand gold. Ooh. Very glad we picked up that, uh, that gold mask. Yeah. No, probably shouldn't have taken the four chicken there, unless we know that we're damaged. I say we take the bag of uh, money. At the moment, I'm feeling fairly much. Oh, there we go. That'll give us a. Yep. Uh, from 91 to. Yeah, okay. So we are definitely getting the benefits of the gold mask and all those other hyper bonuses for gold collection. Uh, it's not 25 gold we're collecting, we're collecting a fair chunk more. There's another uh, chest here with this bat. Now it would be super crazy if, if we could get one of those uh, big, big uh, five. That would be just super amazing. But, you know, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, so let's take the 
310 and just enjoy the money that we're collecting this time around. And you know, so far, I don't actually think we've been damaged between the Laurel protecting us and just our ability to chew through the enemies. I'm not actually sure that we've, uh, even slightly gone off full health for a little while. Not gonna take that bag of money, thank you. Oh, more money. Gotta make sure we get that. Making sure that we're passing this. Oh, that'll be good. Wow. Just goes to show how many uh, crystals are lying about the level. If it took us that long to collect them all. Oh, there's another box. That'll take us yep, over 7,000. You know what? This might actually give us the ability to uh, purchase a revive. That is a wonderful idea. Although maybe we could also want to look up a bunch of characters. Um, so we might actually give those a try. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. You know, if we make enough money, we might actually be able to do a little bit of both. starting to uh, feel some of the pressure. That being said though, we, uh, we may notice a little bit of a change of uh, graphics between the last time we played. I have removed the damage counters. It was just getting a little bit too hectic I think. And so uh, I thought I'd go with something a little bit more easy on the eyes. And actually allow me to see where I was going. I think it was the last time we were here. We just had so much damage and health being taken and regenerated that it was kind of hard to see where I was going and what enemies actually needed to be concentrated on. So I decided to uh, turn that off. I think it was the right call. My goodness, though, we've made it 25 minutes and they still have it. You know what? What's this? Can anyone get close enough? Alright, that hag can make it to us. So let's just move a little bit on the side and just start hammering the hag. Now let's just move a little way across. You know, let that do its work. Let the bubbles stay out. There we go. That should be another 400 gold. I think each of those bags said they were 25, so that should be a reasonable sum of money. Okay, yeah, and here come those really, those really big uh, bloodthirsty bats. They're never a good sign whenever you find them in a level, but at least we're dealing with them while well, we are remarkably powerful. You know, I have seen that we've started to take some damage. Um, I'll just keep an eye on that. Um, I definitely want to take the money if at all possible, but at the same time too, I do realize that that may not be a feasibility since we're this close to 30 minutes. Um, might be good to see if we can get this done with another character. Alright, just keep hitting her with the bottles, come on. Oh, the pressure is immense. Okay, 
here we go, here we go. More gold. That's what we want to see. Alright, oh, and I... Oh, that was an attractor orb. Okay. Take the gold. Take the gold. There is a chicken there in case we need it. But so far, we are doing A-OK. -okay. Oh, now we've picked it up anyway. Because we just have a crazy amount of pickup range. the other way, see if those uh, candelabras have respawned and have anything nice to give us. No, it's not a bad idea, all things considered running back and forth so we can collect the drops, if we can make it happen. Yeah, more gold. Oh, we've got another Medusa. Let's just work on her for a little bit. No, we're at 27 minutes. This is this is going really, really well. Here we go. I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't collect a uh, one of the big one of the big big uh, five jackpots, but you know. I guess that is the whole RNG and the luck of it all. Alright, only two and a half more minutes. Oop. I did get a bit of a lag spike there. Oh. Wow. That's absolutely cooking them. Take the gold. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes. And that's a couple of hundred. Ah, oh, yes. This is exactly what we want. 500 gold, 600 gold. Oh, boy. If we can... No, let's just keep going right. I know that we're... All right, we're taking a bit of damage. Okay, you know what? I don't care. Almost... Yeah, we had two minutes left, but with that amount of gold that we created... Oh! We unlocked a red heart and evolved the knife. Okay, so um, what is that? Palmera. Let's have a look at the collection. And there it is, right next to the hollow heart. Recovers 0 0.2 HP per second. Ooh. All right, that'll be nice. Um, you know what? Let's have a quick look and see if there's any other characters that we'd like to pick up straight away. Uh, weapon cooldown is nice. Permanent 30% area. Oh, yeah. Temporary cooldown bonus. That's nice. Uh, per health and guard. Hmm. Uh, no. Okay, so that's just a standard uh, upgrade. Permanent 50... 0.5 HP regain and max health. That is very nice. Um, some cat lady. I'm assuming by the hat. The Christine, an extra level. Hmm. Um, all right. Starts with a revival and one more revival at 33. Okay. Permanent 40% duration and speed. Minus 40% speed. Okay, that's... Bear. Hmm. Oh, well, you know what? Let's just go with, um... Hmm. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Let's go with Arca, since he's the next in line. Um, and then in our power-ups... Ooh. What can we get? Hmm. You know what? The let's just max out our luck. I know I was thinking about revival, but actually, refund power ups. We'll take the revival. We will max out our growth. We will take that amount 
we'll take all of the luck in the world and then how much recovery can we get okay full recovery and now what let's put now what let's just how much can we invest 100 more 400 you left yeah sure let's let's go with a crazy amount of gold here um almost set that to full and then with the remainder go into might yeah we won't afford anything else for 150 all right well that is that was a great run um it's good to finish on a positive note so we'll leave that there and i'll see you again next time this is leviathan of the cove signing out